bread that literally fell from the sky to save the thousands of lives of Israelites fleeing from Egypt as described in the second book of the Bible, Exodus. The common theme on a Google search describes this event as food from heaven, a miracle that comes at the most needed time. Does that sound like something today's world might need? God also supplied meat in the form of quail. I like to think of this early biblical narrative as a partial basis for my meat and potatoes diet as described in my book, The God Food Diet. Mankind's love of meat actually dates back to the very beginning of time. And as I explain in chapter 8, how can we go wrong with eating what's got us here? Eating the right kinds of fat and protein our brains needed to grow and expand. Eating what science says made us into homo sapiens, meaning literally wise man. Chapter 8 is titled Burgers, Beer, and Bread. I call it Triple B, and it starts off with our prehistoric ancestors sitting around the first barbecue, a campfire. I talk about the oldest recipes known to man, and it turns out to be a toss-up between which came first, beer or bread. The first written recipe in history comes from Mesopotamia around 3500 BC, and it is for, ta-da! Beer is the first place winner, and bread is a close second. So there you have it, one reason why Triple B is featured on the cover of this book. Another more important reason is to dramatize that these forever historically popular foods can be liberally consumed while still achieving the three major goals of this book, losing weight, losing joint pain, and losing age itself. By the way, think of the losing age goal as, at a very minimum, aging gracefully, not painfully. I started my program, My Daily Routine, 10 years ago with the recipe as described on the book cover in big bold red letters. However, my very first God acronym has always been for our great original designer. And yes, you can substitute the words evolution or mother nature if that's your preference. Because science and historical evidence bears out virtually everything I say in this book. One example is my DNA test showing my cellular age 20 years younger than my chronological age. And yes, the before and after pictures losing 20% of my body weight and keeping it off effortlessly. I include a history of my first year when that first 30 pounds of lost fat eradicated my need for complicated surgeries, severe back herniation, frozen shoulder, arthritic knees, all healed with that first weight loss that very first year. Hallelujah! On the right path for sure, energetic and positive thinking again. Back to that all-important recipe for success. Simply described as God food, the bold G on your screen is for grass-fed beef and bison, pasteurized for chicken and pork, and please include wild-caught fish. These are the basic meats of the enjoyable meat and potatoes diet described herein. Organic for the veggies, and I like to emphasize beer and bread, of course. This is the potatoes portion of the diet, and starches such as rice and pasta can be substituted, and here's just a small footnote. I recently read that russet potatoes have the most antioxidants in the vegetable kingdom. Who would have thought? The bold D on your screen stands for dairy, but oh no, 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 not just any old dairy. It must be raw dairy, unadulterated, unpasteurized, and not homogenized. A preferred source of purchase is from the farm itself. Buy it here, not here. And once you understand the wonderful benefits of raw milk and the associated products of cheese, butter, and, of course, ice cream, you'll never go back to the typical standard American diet type of grocery store again. Sad indeed. Take special note of the large food and pharmacy emblems on these stores. Your chemically processed food on one aisle and your chemical drugs on the next. Not a good place to be. Dairy products just so happen to be the least expensive of these three God food categories, and that's how I started the diet 10 years ago, just with the change of my breakfast items. I didn't graduate to the other meals until I saw how well this inexpensive God breakfast literally changed my life. 
I have a few short personal videos from my kitchen of how I started and continue to believe and enjoy in this breakfast menu on a daily basis. Simply click on the Start with Breakfast videos on the left side of this homepage to get started. So yes, we have three major food groups in the God Food Diet, as well as three possible action plans that you can consider, and I discuss all three plans of action throughout the book. Plans A, B, and C. Details about costs are described in video number two, titled Pen and Checkbook, because the plan I'm on now is at the very top, Plan A, and it involves the most elite food on the planet meat and fish and all the rest and can be quite expensive, but I grew into that plan quite a bit later down the road, after climbing the ladder, to plan B, which is simply changing grocery stores. Plan C is your basic starter or beginner's plan, and you don't change stores and you don't spend any more money than you do now. You become a basic label reader. My explanation to you will take less than one minute, and you change to a better quality dairy product. All you have to do is see video number two and watch some of the quick breakfast videos on this homepage to know what I mean. Enjoy!